Hey what's up guys it's Apex here finally one of the biggest updates in terms of windows emulation on android is here win later c mode which is officially the best performing windows emulator for android since the last 6 to 7 months we did not receive a single update of this amazing windows emulator and now that it's finally back the form of win later c mode has been improved we now have custom wrapper graphics driver which works amazingly with unsupported snapdragon as well as mediatek or exynos processor android devices i'll be showing you guys the full setup best settings and gameplay so make sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification let's jump right into our today's video now win later c mode is a completely open source project in its release section you guys can see win later c mode version 13 was released yesterday and it brings the latest controller revolution along with that android wrapper graphics driver now if you guys do know win later bionic c mode which was currently the best performing windows emulator for android that was based upon the original win later c mode and not just that the wait is over after months of work the next major evolution of win later c mode has arrived let's take a look at the change log the controller revolution native gamepad support is here the old input methods are gone sort are and replaced by completely new from the ground up controller implementation so if you guys remember then previously the input controls were not that great and now we have native x input and d input support no more switching settings per game multiplayer up to four player presets so yeah guys now you can pair multiple controllers and play inside win later and Android at the same time which is really amazing so this is just like running pc on your android devices almost the advancement in terms of technologies of windows emulation on android are super crazy nowadays motion controls including gyroscope support has been added so just like how we play racing games or even some battle royale games with gyroscope that support has also been added in win later c mode and all of this should probably work well with the games that are available for pc virtual gamepad enhancements so the on screen touch controls are now more responsive than ever ls reflector has been added the unbreakable audio engine along with that core system and proton enhancement so the win later c mode uses native bionic libraries along with that the ui has been changed with the help of bionic container we get native graphics driver as well with all of that out of the way let's start setting up the simulator right away to get started i have added the latest version 13 of win later c mode on my android device once you open it tap on the allow button and you guys can see or notice the theming differences are also visible so now we get brand new theme along with that brand new options menu layout ui and much more when you open the simulator for the first time as usual we'll need to wait until the setup has been completed once the setup is complete simply tap on the okay button afterwards enable this option and now we can create our container and also apply the best settings so towards the left side you'll see win later c mode branding along with that we have controller manager option so we can now assign up to four controllers in win later c mode and try multiplayer controller features so if you have two controllers laying around you can connect them in win later c mode probably wired or wireless and you can play pc games on your android device with your friends that is really revolutionary along with that we have input touch control so we have rts and virtual gamepad we'll test it out later on in this video we also get save feature box 64 rc file contents adreno gpu adreno tools gpu driver and much more so let's go to settings first and here performance preset will be chosen we'll duplicate it and set the save flags level to 0 as usual once that has been done we also get big picture mode on app launch this is the special win later c mode feature where we get big picture mode not just that we'll just go and simply tap on the tick mark option and create our win later container to see lot of new options such as the graphics driver which is by default wrapper graphics driver in wrapper we can customize it from system or the mesa turnip adreno driver if you have snapdragon 8 gen 3 processor or below but for 8 elite we'll go with snapdragon with the system graphics driver after tap on the okay button if you have a mali gpu android device as well go with the system graphics driver once that has been done wine version will select it as default in terms of graphics resolution will go to 800 by 600 by graphics resolution i mean screen size by the way in terms of dx wrapper you can use the 1.10.3 asynchronous but there are lot of dx vk wrappers you can even go with 2.4.1 and even 1.7.1 but i like asynchronous 1.10.3 so let's go with this afterwards tap on the okay button audio driver you will notice is the latest alsa reflector so probably this is really good we'll try it out later will enable show fps and ignore aspect ratio so full screen stretch aspect ratio will be provided to you in terms of video memory will set it to 4 gb you guys can choose from 32 mb up to 4 gb by the way gpu name you can set it as anything i'll go with gtx 1070 after all of that has been done we'll go to the advanced section box 64 version is 0.3.7 you can also import your own versions of box 64 wine and much more 
Box 64 preset will be the performance preset that we just created and startup selection is aggressive. Processor affinities all have been tick marked and I guess that's about it in terms of best settings. I have selected the path where I have stored my PC games and that's about it. I'll press the enter button and our win later container has been created. Now let's take a look at what's the star mark. So there is a favorite feature. Let's tap on choose and I guess this is the shortcuts feature. We'll go back. We'll tap on big picture mode which is the exclusive win later C mode feature where we get a launcher type UI. Uh, we haven't created any shortcuts so this is empty for now. Let's just go ahead and run our container and we'll be testing out Grand Theft Auto 5 in today's video to see how well does it work. Can we get more than 50-60 FPS? Let's find out. So once the container has started, the first thing that I like to do is go to the start section. Afterwards, we'll go to test D3D but unfortunately, I don't see any graphic test here. So there is no test D3D options. I guess we'll just have to wing it but let's go back and check out some new features so we have relative mouse movement we also have keyboard option we have input touch controls where we can manage input controls motion control as well so let's just go ahead and enable analog stick gyroscope motion so i'll check it out with gtfi later on in this video let's tap on ok once that has been done input controls we have virtual gamepad which is just like before so hopefully it works other than that we also have enable touchscreen haptic feedback simulate touchscreen etc let's go back once again we have display section where we can enable screen effects toggle full screen and also magnify it we have system settings pause and resume container so if we go to system we have task manager etc so it is basically feature rich windows emulator for android so finally let's just go ahead and launch grand theft auto 5 and see how well does it actually work there we go our game appears to have booted we'll swipe back we'll go to input controls and enable virtual gamepad to see how well do they work now for some reason virtual gamepad just disappeared out of nowhere i'm not really sure if it is because of the gyroscope movements that we have enabled but now we are getting a social club error now this social club error occurs in the version of gtfi that i have only in the win later c mode emulator so i'll just go ahead and end process for gtfi and we'll try out god of war instead so here let's go to god of war let's run god of war 2018 PC game very high in title by the way and see how well does it work so immediately you guys can see our game has successfully booted once again in just a single click and we'll enable the virtual gamepad on screen touch controls and after small amount of freezing our game has successfully started so once again I have enabled virtual control now the virtual control seems to be disappearing quite a lot and I don't think it still works so we'll go to input touch controls We'll go to setting import our gtfi profile that we like to use every video it is actually the best input touch control profile i'll go back now and let's see yeah there we have the gtfi on screen touch control let's press the enter button and here we go sony interactive entertainment presents playstation studios now there will be graphical issues as the snapdragon 8 elite processor that i am using does not have any mesa turnip adreno driver support and the custom wrapper graphics driver does not provide the best graphics though i am most curious about the performance so here we go our game has started once again the input touch control disappeared for some reason let's tap on the enter button multiple times and start a brand new game now i have to say the performance which i am seeing right here is mind blowing i haven't seen this amount of performance in any other windows emulator till now now once again <laughs> the on screen touch control disappeared so let me disable the motion control Let's enable input controls and I'll just hold the input control so it doesn't disappear. Regardless of that, the performance which I am getting in God of War 2018 is seriously amazing. So let's whack this tree using the power of Kratos and still no shattering issues though there are seriously lot of graphical issues which is to be expected in games like God of War. Here we go the final hit. There are some freezing issues but the game eventually comes back to life. Now that I let go of my on screen touch controls, the input controls disappeared again. That's very weird. If you guys do know why this is happening then do let me know in the comment section down below. Anyways that's going to be it for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.